Until recently, the Chinese robotics company Unitry seemed to be concentrating on the development of increasingly proficient robotic dogs, such as the Go2 and B2. These commercially available four-legged robots have since been utilized for some rather alarming applications, including the flamethrowing Thermonator. The robotics community has been captivated by two highly sophisticated humanoid robots, the new Unitry G1 humanoid robot and Boston Dynamics' latest Electric Atlas. Despite their similarities, each robot possesses unique strengths and capabilities that distinguish it from the rest. The G1's larger counterpart, the H1, recently set a Guinness World Record for the fastest walking speed by a bipedal robot, clocking in at nearly 16 kilometers per hour. In another demonstration, it is shown executing astonishing gymnastic maneuvers, like backflips, highlighting the robot's extraordinary balance and dynamic locomotion abilities. Boston Dynamics recently upgraded its Atlas to a second generation model but Unitree's latest robot might give it a literal run for its money. The G1, with a starting price of $16,000, aims to make advanced humanoid robotics accessible to a wider audience, including researchers, educators, and technology enthusiasts. The G1, standing at a height of 127 centimeters and weighing under 50 kilograms, is a compact yet formidable robot. It is equipped with up to 43 joint motors, offering an exceptional degree of articulation and agility. A standout feature of the G1 is its ability to run at a speed of 7 km per hour, a remarkable feat for a humanoid robot. The G1 appears to be a more comprehensive package than its predecessor, the H1, featuring a helmet head and a lit face equipped with 3D LiDAR sensors and a depth camera. It has a specially designed three-fingered hand that is force-controlled and dexterous, which can be further enhanced with an optional tactile sensor array. This enables the G1 to carry out a wide variety of tasks, from cracking walnuts and opening bottles, to soldering wires and flipping food in a pan. The G1 comes with a quick-release battery that offers up to two hours of operation time. It can also take a beating, recovering well after brutal kicks and punches using reinforcement learning, an AI technique similar to pet training. Through rewards and penalties, G1 adapts to external stimuli, including obstacles and uneven ground, allowing it to acquire new skills over time. Unitry mentions that the robot will be trained in a simulated environment using reinforcement learning and by copying others, with all new skills presumably rolled out to every humanoid over the air. G1 processing power benefits from eight high-performance cores and includes the latest Wi-Fi and Bluetooth communications protocols. This echoes NVIDIA's recent announcement of its latest AI chip codename Blackwell, unveiled alongside Project Groot, a general-purpose foundation model for humanoid robots. The platform is designed to help robots understand natural language and emulate movements by observing human actions. The development of Groot involved NVIDIA's Isaac Robotics platform tools, including a new reinforcement learning environment called Isaac Lab. While the Unitree G1 humanoid robot, Boston Dynamics Electric Atlas, and Tesla's Optimus share some similarities in their humanoid form and potential applications, they also have distinct differences in terms of their design, capabilities, and target markets. The Unitree G1 stands out for its affordability, versatility, and impressive performance-to-price ratio, making it an attractive option for research institutions and companies with limited budgets. It could serve as a research tool, enabling the exploration of advanced robotics concepts and algorithms. Additionally, the G1 could find its way into commercial settings, such as assembly lines or as a robotic assistant in homes and businesses. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, and until next time, cheerio!